Hello and welcome to Smooth Fusion Sitefinity tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the document and files module in Sitefinity out of the box. So there are three components to using documents and files. First, you have your module, you have your document list, your document link, and additionally, you can upload documents through a content block by using a picker within the rich text editor. Insert file, select your files, and then you would publish. And with your document link, you can also select which file you want to show if you want to show an individual file. Next, you have your document list which can be configured to show as selected libraries or you can and you can narrow the selection further by categories, tags and dates. You can control how the limit is set whether it's limited or paginated or both or neither. You can sort the documents by a number of orders. You can control the list template that you want to use whether you have a custom template there or not. Single item settings, what occurs whenever a document is clicked. As you can see, we changed the template and it changed the layout of this. You can publish your page. Go to your page and then you can see those widgets here on the front end. Additionally, whenever you are in the documents and files content module, you will see your existing libraries that you have here. Or if you need to create one, you can do so by clicking create a library. Titling that library. You can add a description. You can select a parent library if you prefer, or you can have it at the top level. Create and go to add documents. And then you, from here, you can upload the documents if your file is empty. You can change which file if you're uploading to or document folder you're uploading to if you need to publish. And then once you've added your document, you can go in and view all of the documents within those libraries again. And if you need to go in and modify that document further or replace it with an updated document, you can do so by navigating to the edit document properties, where you can again modify the title. And if you need to replace the file, you can do so here. Replacing the file will, if you have used the, uh, the file picker within the rich text editor and you have not removed the sfref reference anywhere that this file exists will be updated when you replace this file as well as in any widgets selected on this file you can further change the library it's located in apply tags and categories assign author description and other details to it and control the url that's associated with it and if you have a related media field for a custom image you can add that here for more Sitefinity tips and tricks, follow our channel, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter.